Many cities across the nation talking about race relations and policing in the wake of the recent violence. Tonight, hundreds gathering at the Greenwood Cultural Center to talk about issues impacting our community. Two Works for you reported Brian Miller live now from the site of that forum. Brian. Karen, several speakers and an estimated crowd of nearly 200 people showing up here tonight, packing this community center to talk about those police and community and race relations here tonight. Now, it began with a panel discussion. It ended with people talking about solutions. Now, during the two-hour forum on police violence, people breaking into discussion groups to talk about specific issues involving minorities and their interactions with police officers in Tulsa. They talked about racial profiling, the use of police body cameras, and the correct way to act when stopped by police. Young one one young lady at tonight's event tells me these types of conversations are necessary if we are to move forward as a community. It's unfortunate to lose a life in any situation, um, but it's then necessary to respond. Yes, we want to always be proactive, um, but it's imperative that we do put things together in place so that those things don't happen again. And not just things in terms of killing, but just other systematic things that leave a people oppressed don't continue to happen. <laughs> Those group sessions happening at the end of tonight's event, and they were really focusing on police and minority relations. Now, one of the things that was a criticism by someone in the crowd during tonight's event, there are no law enforcement agencies on tonight's panel, but that's something organizers say they would like to have for the next Tulsa Talks. Meanwhile, people that I spoke with tonight say this event was a step in the right direction. Reporting live tonight in Tulsa, Brian Miller, Two Works for You.